My name is Alex Zurich and I'm the energy educator at Columbia Water and Light. We're a municipal electric and water utility in central Missouri. And we thought it would be a good idea to work on a project for kids that really taught them a hands-on way to learn about these groundwater resources. So what we came up with is a project called the Edible Aquifer. So we found a lot of products, basically you can get them at any grocery store, um, and you put them together and it assembles basically a rough model of an aquifer that um, demonstrates to kids some of the basic principles of how groundwater works. So what we start off with typically is using a clear cup um, and the first thing you put in the cup is ice. We found that medium sized ice cubes work pretty well, give you a balance between the bulk filling up the cup and space for your liquid to go in. And rather than use actual water, um, which we could use, um, we decided to use lemon lime soda um, and it tastes a little better with the rest of the ingredients that we add later. And on top of those ice cubes, what we typically do um, is pour the soda up to the level of right to the top of the ice cubes. And then on top of that, we'll add usually some like chocolate puff cereal, something to simulate an area that is unsaturated with water. So what we have basically is our, our rocks and our gravel um, with part of it saturated and part of it unsaturated. And so we discuss to the kids what it means to be saturated and the location of the water within the aquifer. And then we want to sort of cap off our aquifer. And in Missouri, that typically happens with a layer of clay. We have a lot of clay soil here. And so rather than use clay, we found that vanilla ice cream works really well. And so we're really starting to make like a combination of a float and a sundae. Um, on top of the ice cream, you want to add um, everything that would be on top of clay. So we're looking at dirt and grass, um, crushed chocolate cookies. And so then you have a completed model of an aquifer. And so they can see through the side of the cup all the different layers. Um, you talk through what they all mean to the kids. Um, and they can see it visually. Uh, but before they eat it, what we make sure that we talk about as well as a water utility is how do we get the water out. I ask the kids if they brought their pumps with them. And I show them that I brought their wells that they're going to use their pumps on. And I show them um, just plastic drinking straws. And they realize that I mean they can use their mouth as a pump um, and just suck through the straw. Um, sometimes you can get a little subsidence there. Um, and that's a good lesson too, to talk to the kids about what happens if you over pump the aquifer. We also want to show them how recharge works. And we combine that with um, talking a little bit about groundwater pollution. So we'll shake some um, just like red drink mix on top and then just splash some more soda on top and they can see that coloring bleed down uh, the sides of the cup and get into their, their groundwater. And so basically they've seen the whole cycle of um, what the water looks like when it's underground, pumping it out and then also recharging the aquifer and they end up getting to leave having had a tasty treat. Um, so it's a pretty memorable experience for kids to think about where their water comes from, think about how to protect it. Um, and just learn a little bit in the process of having fun too.